I told you I set my car to give us a noise when we get out. Uh, we are on our way to the Mobile Flea Market, but first we're going to eat breakfast, which is really lunch, and we are at the Cracker Barrel. And I am going to try and get as keto as possible, which means eggs and sausage and bacon and coffee. So much coffee. He is literally leaving me. I should probably go. Okay, hey, so I just did a whole last video on keto chow, right? Like, mama got all the keto chow. I am back on their ambassador plan. I am gonna make some tomorrow, get it meal prepped for breakfast, I think, for this week, because I'm also gonna make chili tomorrow. Um, we went to Cracker Barrel for lunch breakfast, I guess you could say. It was super late. I'll put a picture of what I had. I just got the double meat breakfast. It was three eggs. I got them sunny side up which was a mistake. Um, I should have just gotten them fried. And I got two pieces of sausage that was more like scrapple and three pieces of bacon. It was good. And I also had coffee. I have to figure out uh, the creamer situation as far as how many carbs that was. I wound up getting the iHealth uh, Pro version. It was $30, but I like the way it tracks. Like so far I am digging the way that it tracks. So that was kind of worth it. Um, I'm going to play around with it a little bit because we just got home. We went to the Mobile Flea Market. Never again. Um, because I wanted to see if it was worth it for me maybe renting a table and going out there and doing, like, selling, like, cricket stuff there. It is not. It is not. Um, and then we ran to Hobby Lobby and Home Depot. Um, I think it's close to 5.30, 6 o'clock. So we're just gonna hang out at home the rest of the night, I think, and relax. I'm gonna make chicken Caesar salads for dinner. Um, and yeah, the only thing I've had to eat all day is the eggs and the meat. So yeah, I'm gonna probably do this as a two day vlog just because I have the keto chow coming and the weigh in vlog video coming. So we'll go from there, but yeah, I'm gonna put all this junk away. I have a vinyl project to weed out and yeah, I will show you when I have my salad. So this is dinner. It is romaine, Caesar dressing, Parmesan cheese, like the shaker cheese, bacon, avocado, and chicken for a bacon, avocado, chicken, Caesar salad, and it is delicious. So, so good. I measured everything, I tracked everything. I will show you when I have a snack. Okay, so my hair is doing some stuff, but I'm finishing my night off with two Catalina Crunch uh, like Oreos, if you will. They are five gram net carbs with a half, well, a quarter teaspoon, quarter tablespoon of peanut butter on each. And it's the Santa Cruz organic peanut butter. So I will put in a picture of how my macros did for the day and I will see you guys in the morning. The next day. Jesus. I love him dearly, but oh my God, the way he adjusts my seats kills me. Hello, good morning. It is Sunday. I'm on my way to get the things. I have a grocery pickup order and I need to go to Ulta because I need my face wash. And also I want to pick up Kat Von D's foundation. Um, I don't have any makeup on, as you can tell. And there was something else I wanted to grab, but I think it's just because like I need to get over $50 a save $10 and I'm at like 39. So that makes, I'm like at 49. I was at 49. Um, I have coffee, and of course I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx because it's like right there. But I have coffee. This is in my cup that I made myself. So I have wanted like Dave Matthews. I don't have any Dave Matthews merch, like none. I had a t-shirt that I got from the 2007 concert, but that is long gone, long gone. It had hair dye stains, tears, rips, you name it. It was on that shirt. So I made myself one. I found some tie dye vinyl and I bought an SVG file off of Etsy and I made myself one. I like it. This is <laughs> delicious. Mardi Gras coffee. Um, I am practically out of K cups. I have like none. Um, so I have to get some of those and I also need the filler or the filters for my reusable K cup. I may actually go to Target for those. It's a Mardi Gras King cake K cup. Mardi Gras King cake K cup. Say that five times fast because I couldn't even get it out friggin' once. And then I made my own cold foam, which I made it different than Starbucks did only because I don't have 2% milk yet. I have it coming from 
Walmart. Um, I did two tablespoons of the zero sugar sweet cream, Italian sweet cream creamer thing, uh, and one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream, and I whipped it a little too much. It didn't sink as well as I would like, but that's okay. Next time I will do it correctly. Um, so breakfast is two gram net carbs. Not breakfast, but coffee. Well, I guess breakfast, because by the time I get home, it'll be lunch, because it's 1044 now. I'm not hungry. So first place is gonna be Ulta. We're gonna do a loop. We're gonna go Ulta, TJ Maxx, loop it around, go to Target, then go to Walmart, then come home. If I do this correctly and well, I should be home in less than 90 minutes. Less than an hour, really. But I mean, face it, I'm going to Ulta, TJ Maxx, and Target. So we'll aim for less than two hours. <laughs> um, let's recap yesterday, because this is gonna be a two-day vlog. Uh, because I had my weigh-in video come out today. You don't know this yet, but tomorrow is the Keto Chow unboxing. Um, so then this video will go up on Tuesday. So it'll be Sunday or Saturday and Sunday. Um, I had such a great day yesterday. We didn't like get up and out of bed until almost one o'clock. Um, well, no, like 1230. We were on the road by one and we were at... Cracker Barrel at 1.30. I struggled a little bit with Cracker Barrel because um, your girl loves some biscuits and gravy. Like, it was hard. And even Dave knows that like, I like my gravy, like just all the pepper, all of it. Find every single piece of pepper in that restaurant and put it in that gravy and then add a little more. That is how I like my gravy. So he looked at me and he was like, eh? I'm like, no, I can't have any biscuits or gravy. He's like, why? And he had been getting on my case yesterday because I kept calling myself fat. And he's like, will you stop it? You're beautiful. I'm like, well, they're not, you know, parallel. Like I can be beautiful and fat, but okay. And he's like, will you shut up? You know what I mean? And I do know what he meant. But he yelled at me. He's like, you need to stop calling yourself fat. He's like, I'm, I'm done with it. And I'm like, okay, heavy set. And he just rolled his eyes. But, you know, we were talking. I was like, honestly, I said, I was only five pounds away from qualifying for the weight loss surgery when I checked. I was like, I bet I'd qualify. And he's like, don't do it. And I'm like, why? He goes, because you like food. He's like, I would hate to see you lose your love of food. And I was like, right. But that's the reason I look like this. He goes, no, you have no willpower. He's like, you have no self-control. He goes, if you think you want something, you go and get it right then and there. And I'm like, well, that's accurate. But it, and he said that to me before. And he's right. I don't. Like, I am very much so. I need instant gratification. And I obsess over something until I make it so. Just hand to God, that's what I do. So, I was, I, I was willpowery enough to avoid the biscuits, the gravy, the whole nine. I didn't even taste it. I had two of the little things of half and half in my coffee, which I counted as like a teaspoon each because there is not a lot in there. Um, and then three eggs, two pieces of sausage, which were much more like scrapple than sausage, and three pieces of bacon. The eggs were like the worst eggs I've ever had in my life. Even adding salt and pepper to them gave them no taste. I've, I've never experienced anything like it. Had I not been able to taste the sausage and the bacon, I would have thought I had the Rona. But it, they just weren't they just weren't great. I got them sunny side up, which was my mistake. I should have asked for fried, but I didn't want the extra fat from the oil or the butter they would fry them in. Um, then we wound up going to the Mobile Flea Market, and I don't know how many of you are from this area. I know there's a few of you that, that watch me that are from this area. Um, have you ever been there? It is something. We had gone to see if it would be worth it for me to rent a space to maybe sell earrings and stuff there and we've decided that it's not even a little bit worth it <laughs> and then we kind of just we came home and I was like I'm done peopling for today he's like really so I was gonna take you to Hobby Lobby I'm like I can go to Hobby Lobby so we went to Hobby Lobby I didn't find anything I wanted uh ran to Home Depot because he got the rest of the stuff to do the rest of the backsplash on the wall because it's not finished from like the stove over because they were out of stock for so long um and then we had dinner and you guys saw dinner and it was so, so good. And I had my little snacky snack. What did I have? Oh, the two or like the two fake Oreos. Um, well, not even fake Oreos. They're just keto versions of Oreos, which I really enjoy. I don't necessarily know if two of them are worth five points, but 
they're good. And I even said to him last night, I'm like, is it weird that I prefer, like, they remind me of store-bought, they're store-bought sandwich cookies. And he's like, yeah, that's weird. I'm like, it's a cookie thing. He goes, you like stale cookies? I'm like, I do. <laughs> so... Uh, I went to bed late. We went to bed late. He actually came in after I did. I went to bed around 1.30. Um, I read for a little bit until the melatonin gummies kicked in. I did not count those as far as carbs. They're three gram net carbs. Um, I don't think vitamin supplements should count. <laughs> and these, these, they're, I'm taking the Ollie ones. They knock you on your ass and it's fantastic. But overall yesterday I think was a fantastic day. I was under all my calories. I was under on my fat. I was over on my protein, but only by 15 grams, which I don't think is crazy. Um, I had a really good day yesterday and I'm, I'm even still in a good mood today. Like uh, my spirits are up. I woke up, I read cause I actually woke up early I had my alarm set for nine and I woke up at 7:45 ish. Um, I read a little bit of the book. I'm on my ninth book for the month. Um, somebody said, oh, you're so smart. I'm not. I read like, her name is Kristen Mod Modlin, Modlin. It's M-O-D-G-L-I-N. She writes a ton of like suspense -y mystery books, but they're written, they're written very, very well. Like in, to me, like I really enjoy the way she writes and they're, I don't want to say easy reads, but they're like 260 pages, like anywhere from 230 to 260. And I can get through them in a day and a half. Cause like I will read before work on lunch and then right before I go to bed. Cause I've been reading on the Kindle instead of an actual book. Um, I'm still reading the Stanley Tucci book, but I can't really get into it. Like I'm like halfway through it and I'm like, eh, it's all right. Like it just recounts him going through Italy and, and stuff like that. And I'm like, I, I got it. It's not great though. Got a ton of recipes. So there's that, um, recipes I can't use now cause I'm keto. But game plan for today, like I said, Ulta, TJ Maxx, Target, Walmart, home, go to make the chili. I might break out some of my keto cookbooks and look through those. I have a Cricut project that I am working on that I want to finish. And then I'm just going to kind of relax and chill and I don't know, maybe I'll make some earrings or something and add them to the shop. I don't know. We will see. But for now, I'm going to go into Ulta and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. I'm going to drink my coffee. Okay, hi. So I went to Ulta <laughs> and I was that asshole that pulled on the door to go in the store at 10.55 and they opened at 11. So for the life of me, I could have sworn I looked last night and it said they opened at 10 a.m. So I'm really glad that I didn't get here at 10 because that was my goal. And then I wound up cleaning up the kitchen. Do you see this vehicle? Why does that exist? Anyway, um... TJ Maxx, I did fairly well. I got some dry shampoo because I had to toss mine at the airport coming out of San Diego because I, like the a-hole that I am, put it in my carry-on, not my luggage. So, um, I got that. I got, uh, I can't think of the name of the brand. Why can't I think of it? Lacanto. Lacanto granulated sweetener because I actually don't have any. Um, I got a box of K-Cups for $5 and I feel like I got something else. Oh, uh, Jordan Simple Syrup because I live for the Simple Syrup because it works in everything because it's just sweet. It's just sweet. Um, but yeah, so I got all that and then I went into Ulta and I immediately went to the KVD because it is no longer Kat Von Day, it is KVD Beauty. Um, I went to that area and the girl was like, did you see what we got in? I was like, what was that? She goes, did you see what we got in? I'm like, no, what'd you get in? Cause like I looked at the foundation and I didn't like the consistency of it. It was like a putty and no, no. So I guess she saw my face and I went, and uh, that was attractive with the chins. She's like, we got in Fenty Beauty. I'm like, really? She's like, yes, I'm very excited. I was like, hmm. And I immediately found it and I found the foundation. I found, 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 found the foundation. And I wound up getting that instead. So I got Fenty Beauty, which is Rihanna's beauty brand. I got face wash and then I got like an overnight hydrating face mask. So after my points and my coupon, I spent $30 out of pocket, which is really good considering the foundation alone was 38. I have not bought high end foundation in years years and even the one that I did buy was super goop 
and it was a CC cream. It wasn't a full blown foundation. I'm super stoked. Like I kind of want to do my makeup today now. I'm not going to, but I kind of want to. Um, it is 1130. I am on my way now to Target where I want to also try and maybe find a spice rack. My spices are legit out of control. Like I have so many, I would like to get them all organized and all in like the same shape containers. Um, a couple years ago for Christmas, Erin bought me the magnetic stick on and over the last couple years, they've all just died. Like they've fallen apart. They have fallen off of the shelf, off of the fridge, everything. So I need a, a legit spice rack. My issue is counter space and wall space. I don't have any. And on the other side of my stove, like I have a little skinny, teeny tiny little piece of cuff of a uh, counter. Um, and I have a cookbook holder and my knife set there. So I don't even really have anywhere to put it there. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go to Target and hopefully find something that I need. But yeah. I did the test here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, just made it. I did the test here for the color of the Fenty foundation. I think I found a good one. I think that'll work. All right, I'm going to go and listen to Disney World music because that's what I've been doing the last three days. I'll see you soon. Okay, so I'm at Target. And I have a game plan in my brain, so I bought a countertop spice rack. It works in my brain. I'm going to get rid of the... You'll see. I found this. I have not heard good things, but I need to know for myself. Apparently, space tastes gross, but we're going we're gonna to find out. Okay, just smells like... It smells like somebody dissolved a sweet tart into Coke. It's not gross. It tastes like somebody dissolved a candy necklace into a bottle of Coke. Straight out, that's what it tastes like. I'm going to go get my groceries now. So for some reason, I did not expect this to come pre-seasoned. So we have a whole lot of seasonings that I don't necessarily always need. So that's fun. Like, I'm never going to use sage, and it's imprinted on there. I'm annoyed. All right, so we're taking that back because I don't want that spice rack. So I'm going to order one off Amazon. It'll be whatever. I'm going to have my breakfast slash lunch. This is the Irish cream keto chow. We know how this works. Lick the lid. Taste the chow. We like it. This is two tablespoons of butter, two cups of almond milk, and water. I'm gonna go and enjoy this and read and then take that back to Target. I feel like today is most definitely a car vlog. I'm on my way back to Target because, returning this, I don't want it. And when Dave, cause I said, I was like, I. I said, I was like, I really don't want to go to Target. And he's like, so don't go. I'm like, I have to return it. He goes, how much was it? And I was like, I don't want to talk about it. And he goes, was it more than $5? I'm like, well, yeah, because it's, you know, not 1903. So, yeah, the spice rack that's wood and glass. Well, actually, it's plastic. But wood and plastic uh, that came with spices is more than $5. And then I was like, it was 15 He goes, oh, my God, take it back right now. <laughs> so... Uh, I am doing as my husband has requested. However, I plan on coming back with some sort of something else. I want everything uniform. I am going through a day of OCD, and as we established earlier in this video, I like instant gratification. So Amazon really, I don't, it's not an option for me right now. I'm annoyed though that it's 2.15 and I have yet to like do what I wanted to do. I haven't even made my chili yet. <sighs> Mostly because I think I'm gonna make it for dinner. He's gonna have tacos. And I'm going to do, oh, that guy's teaching his kids how to fish. I guess he's teaching them how to like reel it out, I guess. Um, but he's going to have tacos. I was going to do like nachos for me. I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, I could, and then I can just make the, make the, make the chili. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do. I enjoyed my my keto chow. It is really good. I can't see myself buying a big pot, a big bag of it though. Um, and it was a little too cold for me. Like it was, I don't know why it was a little too cold, but it was filling. It's 2.15. I'm gonna aim to have dinner around 6.30. I like dinner at like 6, 6.30. Um, and then that'll give me a chance to go home and do my cricket stuff and maybe get the jars pushed over. I like the, the spices pushed over into the new jars. Um, we'll see, we'll see how it works. I'm just so annoyed that like, it came like pre-labeled. Like I don't use marjoram in my everyday life. I just don't. It's not a spice that I aim to use. I don't know. I finished my book, so I am officially at 15 books for the year. Um, my goal is to read one a week, so I am definitely well ahead of that goal. Um, granted, one of them was a novella, but still, it counts. Don't know what book I'm going to read next. I think I'm going to read an actual book book, like handheld book. Um, you get that read, you know, get something there read. I have a bunch that I need to do. Um, I know you got taco seasoning too. So remind me of that. But I'm going to go to Target again. And I'm going to go home and relax. Okay. So I went to Target. I'm going to have to wait and get a spice rack off Amazon. But I did get some head and shoulders clinical strength. Someone commented that they had seborrheic dermatitis, which is exactly what this is. Like, I know what it is. Um, it just creates big, giant flakes. I've just never had it this long. It's weird. Like, my head doesn't itch that bad. It's just, I know it's there, so I pick. So, since she said the head and shoulders worked for her, and I have had my hair, well, a hairdresser at Ulta, also recommend it because it came directly from her friend who works at a dermatologist office. They said that head and shoulders clinical strength is like fantastic. So I went to Target to return the spice rack, but I also perused that aisle because I forgot to do it earlier. And I got the clinical scalp calming treatment. So this is for when I don't wash my hair. I got the shampoo. And I got the dry scalp rescue. So I got that and then I figured I'm going to need um, conditioner as well. If I'm just going to use this as my hair routine. So I grabbed like Aussie deep conditioning. Only because if I bought four, I got a $5 gift card. So it worked out. It was still $35. But I mean ridiculous. Then um, I wanted avocado. But I didn't feel like going to Publix. Because I didn't feel like it's a lot of turns. <laughs> So I stopped at Rouse's because I also figured they tend to carry uh, like lower carb items. So I perused the aisles. I wound up getting more K-Cups and King Coffee flavor. Um, I got, why is that there? I got the PJ's brand, I think. Yes, PJ's brand. Um, I got this, which I stumbled across. So this is a box full of like individual things of electrolytes. They are five calories each, but no sugar. So there's zero carb. Uh, yeah, there's no carbs in this. It's not even listed on here. So uh, I got those. I grabbed one of these. Is it the best? No, but it doesn't have maltitol in it. I grabbed some avocado. Uh, not avocado, sorry. I grabbed some guacamole instead of an avocado because the avocado was two fifty. One singular avocado was $2.50. So I grabbed guac. Um, and then I really like the blueberry version of this. So I grabbed the Walden Farms strawberry jelly. Do I know that it is not real food? Absolutely. Do I care? No, I don't. No, I don't. Um, I also grabbed the zero sugar Kool-Aid jammers in grape. So that'll be fun. I'm going to go home. I'm getting a little bit hungry. So it's been about two and a half hours since I ate. So I might grab something when I get home and yeah, we'll go from there. I'm going to have to up the fat in the keto chow. Two tablespoons of butter isn't, might not be enough. 
wish me luck. All right, so I had a tablespoon of this and I dipped it into this. This, it literally just tastes like jello, but like a softer texture. It's better when it's cold, but it's not bad. Literally eating the peanut butter out of the tablespoon. So yeah, also I am gonna have one of these. Ooh, what is it doing? That's weird. It like won't focus, but I'm gonna have one of these and I put it in my new fancy schmancy blender bottle that Walmart upgraded from the one that I bought. So like the one that I bought was like a new name brand. This one's all fancy and sheesh. I'm gonna make a little decal to put on there. So I'm gonna have that and I'm gonna go weed out my little thing that I was doing. All right, so this is dinner. So I have pork rinds with ground beef and jalapenos and cheese and guac. Very excited to put this in my face hole. All right, so this is my little snacky snack. So this is four pieces of that Joy thing that I got at Rouse's, which is this. And I am under on all my macros, literally under my calories by five. So yeah, I'm gonna go and enjoy this.